This lesson shows how to solve equations with decimal coefficients. In a previous lesson, you learned to solve equations with fractions by multiplying both sides of the equation by the LCD of all the denominators. This cleared the fractions from the equation in one easy step. A similar strategy can be used to solve equations with decimals. You can clear decimals from an equation by multiplying both sides by powers of 10. How many powers of 10 is determined by which coefficient or constant has the most number of decimal places. But first, let's remember a basic idea about decimals. When you multiply a number by powers of 10, the number gets bigger and you move the decimal point to the right. For example, if you multiply 2.7 by 10, it gets bigger by one decimal place, and you have 27. If you multiply by 100, it gets bigger by two decimal places, and you have 270. Now back to the equation. The first coefficient has one decimal place. The other two coefficients have two decimal places. Since the most number of decimal places of all the coefficients is two, multiply both sides of the equation by two powers of 10 or 100. And in one easy step, all the decimals are cleared from the equation. Next, subtract 340 from both sides of the equation for negative 2x equals negative 224. Then divide both sides by negative 2 for the solution x equal 112. Always check the solution. Rewrite the original equation and substitute the solution. Then 2 times 112 is 224. And 3.40 minus 2.24 is 1.16. And the solution checks. In this example, one of the coefficients has no decimals, and the other two coefficients have one decimal place. Since the most number of decimal places is 1, multiply both sides of the equation by 1 power of 10. For 30x minus 102 equals 84. Next, add 102 to both sides for 30x equals 186. Then divide both sides by 30 for the solution x equals 6.2. Remember to always check the solution. This lesson showed how to solve equations with decimal coefficients. And this lesson was brought to you by the Math Fun Academy. It's continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new math and new equations, to boldly go where no math student has gone before.